Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've all had a wonderful day. Today's video is my new project pan for 2023. Now it is a bit that's the only way I can describe it. So basically, it is a collection of things that I don't want to have in my collection. So the past year, maybe two, I have really been trying to scale down my collection. When I first started YouTube, I bought so much stuff because I wanted to have that massive collection that you see in people's videos. And I've just realized for me personally, that's not manageable. Other people have really wonderful, really huge collections of stuff that they use and they love using. For me, I just can't manage it. So what I want is to have a set few products that are my like ride or die products and I use them consistently and I love them with maybe a few things here and there that I don't mind having a couple of to play with. I don't mind having backups of the items that I really love. But the extra bits that I know I don't really use, I want to get gone. So that is where this project comes in. So this is a load of items that we are going to call Project Downsize. That was what um, Nikki suggested. She is the queen of project planning, for me anyway. She is the queen of project planning. Every time I watch her videos, she does so well. Um, so yes, it is me downsizing my collection by using all of these products. So I'm just going to kind of get them out one by one, show you them, tell you kind of why I don't like them or why I want them gone. Um, but yeah, we're just going to get into it. So the first one is this Vitamin E by Superdrug um, Hydrating Mist. There's nothing wrong with it. I bought it in the summer because I thought I would be really good at using this kind of product. And I'm just not, so um, I want to get it used up and gone. I then have this Lucura Healthy Glow Rose Toner. I have no issue with a toner at all, um, but this one has been open for a year, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, 12 months. So ideally, I want to just put it in here, get it used up, and then I can purchase another toner that I like, or something along those lines. So there's that. Those of you that have been with me a really long time, you will not be surprised to see this product. It is my Avon bronzer. I mean, I think we did pretty well this year, guys, but it wouldn't be a project pan on this channel if this bronzer wasn't in it. So again, the goal is to use it up, but I use it pretty much every time I do my makeup. So fingers crossed, but it's been here forever. So we shall see. Uh, next up, I have this Lush um, Sleepy Body Lotion. Um, it's really lovely. Um, and I have about, I want to say just over half, but it's just really strong. Um, and it's not it's not a product that I reach for all the time. Um, lavender has been really good for calming my anxiety this year, but I just want to get this one used up and gone. Again, it's really old. Um, used by... Oh my God, this is bad. Um, so used by the 13th of April, 2020. This is disgusting. And I probably should declutter it, but it still smells exactly as it did when I bought it. There doesn't appear to be any funny issues with it. So I'm just gonna use it up. If it becomes gross, I'll use it on my feet or I'll just get rid of it. That's really bad. Um, but yeah, this is why I need to get rid of these products because they don't bring me joy. I don't really use them. Um, so I need to get them gone before stuff like this happens. That's grim. Um, I have some hand creams. Um, and I was hoping to just get my collection down to body shop hand creams that I know I really love. But um, Christmas happened and I received a lot in gift sets that aren't from the body shop. Um, so yeah, we just need to work on hand creams. So the first one I have is this Jules Nourishing Hand Cream. Uh, there's that one. Then I have the Vaseline Healthy Hand Stronger Nails and this Spa Luxette Green Tea Hand Cream. So there's that one. Um, I also have a body lotion by Rituals. It's the Ritual of Deo. Um, you can see how much is in here. 
this has been here a really long time. I think since I started getting my glossy boxes and I haven't had those for two years. So this is probably in the same kind of category as the Lush cream. So yeah. Nice. <laughs> um, I have a hair serum. I bought this. Um, I don't really know why I bought it. I'm not that, look how frizzy my hair is. This is a frizz control serum. Um, it's the Leo Bancroft one. Um, we're gonna give it a go. We're gonna see what happens. So there's that. I have the um, makeup brush cleaning spray by Primark. I hate this product with every fiber of my being, but I don't wanna waste it. I wanna use it and I wanna get it out. But if anyone has any recommendations for um, like brush cleaning sprays, um, that would be great. I, I do often clean it with like a solid cleanser, but it's nice to have a spray that just kind of spruces them up a little bit. So if anyone has one, just let me know. So yeah, there's that. And then speaking of solid brush cleansers, um, I have this one from Revolution. I hate this one also. It doesn't smell nice, it's, it's gross. But again, I would like to try and get as much usage on this as I can. And then I would like to just get rid of it at the end of the year. If anyone has any recommendations for good cleansing bars or whatever for makeup brushes, then please let me know. This one I'm just not a fan of, so I wanna use it and get it gone. Um, I have this Rimmel Scandalize eyeliner. Um, I have got it on today. Um, I just wanna use it up before it dries out because it's been open a while. Um, it's still absolutely fine. Um, it works fine, but I, yeah, I just wanna use it up before it dries out. This will probably be a product I would purchase again, um, but it has been open a long time. So there's that one. Um, I have this <laughs> tea tree and witch hazel spot wand. Um, and yeah, it's been here a long time. I, I wanna get rid of it. I do have some really bad blemishes on my chin at the moment. You can't see them, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, so I have been actually using this, but I don't know if there's actually a good product for spots. I don't know. So this one I want to use and get gone. Oh, what else do we have? Right, I have some of these. And I believe I actually have another two in the other room that I haven't got here. But these are the number four um, smoothing balms for your hair. Um, I have a lot of them and I just want to get them used up. There's a product from Lush that I really, really enjoy using and it's more accessible to me than these are. These are actually quite hard to get a hold of which is why I bought the mini ones in bulk after receiving it in my birch box. Um, but yes, there's five here. There's either six or seven. Maybe it's six because I've been using one. So it's it's in my, um, in my bedroom. But yes, so we have a few of those to use up. Um, I also have the um, Supercomb Prep and Protect like heat spray which I'm really rubbish and bad at using. So this might be in here for longer than we expect it to be, but also by number four. Uh, what else do we have? I have a Lucura makeup setting spray. I've never used this one, so I don't know what it's gonna be like, but it's only a little 10 mil, so we shall see. I also have the Lucura um, relaxing pillow spray. I did use this the other day and it is really strong. It's not a scent I'm probably going to enjoy using so this will probably become a room spray quite swiftly but there's that um I have this Garnier Ambro Solaire anti-dark spots and anti-pollution super uv face um sun cream um and I did open this the summer just gone I don't know can you wear spf like all year round is that a really silly question if anyone knows let me know um but I need to get this one used up and gone so there's that um, I have a couple of things by La Roche-Posay. Um, there is a anti-scratch balm, which I don't know why I bought that, um, but these are just little samples, and then a anti-dark spot concentrate, so there's those. Uh, I have a few lipsticks. Um, a couple of these I, well, so I have these two Soap and Glory ones, which I bought thinking they'd be really lovely and I just don't feel like they're quite my shade. So that's why I've put them in here. I have the Super Nude and Naked Talent. Um, they are basically brand new. Um, yeah, I think I've only used them like once. 
what I will try and do is be one of those good project planner people and um, draw them in a notepad so you can see how much progress there is. I will try and do that. Um, I also have this one from Mac, which is Spirits. And again, I thought it was going to be one of those ones that I really loved, but it's just a bit too dark for like everyday wear. And I don't wear it enough. So there's that one. And then also I have this little Avon one. There's not an awful lot of that left and it's quite creamy, but it has been here a long time. And that is in Blush Nude. So I would, again, like to use that. I have a number seven lip liner um, in, I don't know what shade this is. No, I have absolutely no idea what color this is, um, but it's what I have on my lips today. Um, and I just don't have a lipstick that goes with it. So I'm just gonna use it as a lipstick and then put like a gloss over the top. Um, so yeah, there's that one. I have this um, original chapstick lip balm. I'm putting this in here because I really don't like the taste of it. So I'm hoping that if I put it in a project pan, it will encourage me to use it up as quick as possible. So that's why this is here. So yeah, there's that. I have two um, Lush little mini samples. This is R&B and Revive, which is essentially the same product. Um, they just rebranded it. But this is the stuff that I like to have in my hair as like a detangling, curling, moosing. Um, it's really nice. It smells really botanical and I just adore the smell. So I plan on using up all of my kind of hair products so that I can purchase one of these in a full size. Because um, that would be nice. So yeah, there's that. I have this Charlotte Tilbury um, Chameleon dark pearl like eyeshadow stick and I'm really rubbish with eyeshadow sticks and I've put this in here because um Nikki bought it for me last Christmas I believe um and I just haven't used it so I'm putting it in here to try and get some serious use on it so yeah there's that and then finally I have six little mini um where are we six little mini oh, uh, what are they? Perfumes. So I'm hoping these ones will get used up quite quickly. Um, but I have Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. Uh, where are we? Um, La Belle by Jean Paul Gaultier. Maxima Icon by Avon. Uh, Sol de Janeiro, the perfume. Jimmy Choo. I can't remember. I don't know what that one is. And then Machino Toy 2 Bubblegum. Um, I kind of want to branch out into some more expensive perfumes, maybe. So that's why these are kind of in here to give me a bit of a taste of the more expensive brands. Um, but yes, I have that. That is kind of what I have planned for this project pan. Um, I'm planning on doing like bi-monthly updates because I feel like that might be a bit better. I don't know how much progress I'm going to have on some of these um but we'll see if if I have loads of progress I will do like a monthly one um but if not we'll just see what happens so yeah there is my plan wish me luck and we will I will update you very soon take care and I'll see you guys in the next one bye